Yep. Actual gameplay. So this is where it starts. This is where it actually starts. There, there's actual game. So uh, before we go to the next area, I have to backtrack to that little hill we ran up because there's a little secret up there. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, and it's on this little hill to the left. There's a little green oh, thing. Oh, and uh, you press circle to remove suppressors from your gun. That little green thing, we're gonna shoot it! And, and it ribbits at us. <laughs> it's a froggy. It is actually product placement. These are like toys marketed in Japan to children. They're called carotins. There's also a very similar type thing that's a duck. The same cheery demeanor. <laughs> Um, there's one of these in every single map, so there's 64 of these. Shooting all of them in one playthrough uh, unlocks an item, but we won't be doing that because it's hard. Oh, and if you, okay. shoot, if you shoot most animals with a tranquilizer gun, they go to sleep and you can put them in a cage. So now we have a snake in a cage. Yeah, we as have... As well as a dead snake from a knifing. Yes. The, the advantage to having an animal asleep in a cage is that they will never rot, so you can just keep them forever. So if you find, like, really healthy food... You can just keep it forever instead of having it rot on you in like 10 minutes or something like that. So, so eventually our snake is going to go bad? Yeah. For snake, the um, knife snake. Here's sonar. In the top right you can see our little circle. And every time I click the left stick, we get little dots from animals sitting around. I'm trying to find a really... I'm trying to find a special bird. Well, not special. It's just hard to find because if you run around, they fly away and then... You can't shoot them, and we can't eat them. So this replaces, like, the radar and the other Metal Gear Solid Well, there's games. several different ways. Which, there's... which would be anachronistic. Yeah, there's sort of. sonar. There's also motion detectors, which works like this, or works similarly. Well, hey, we got, we got a bird. Bird dead. Oh, and in the bottom left, for the sonar, you can see there's a meter there. Uh, that's for battery. It slowly recharges, and you can also find more batteries in the game, throughout the game. And also... <laughs> Uh, crocodile, crocodile, yawning crocodiles. Don't get too close I don't to think the crocodiles. crocodiles. Yawn. Well, they open their mouths and wait for food to jump in or something. Here's bug juice. They, they're they're basking. Somebody yeah. left their juice out. <laughs> their bug juice. Yeah. You you came across like a Cub Scout campsite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the bug juice repels bugs and leeches, which no no it it tastes sort of like. Fruit juice, eh. but it's not. Yeah. Oh, and don't get too close to the crocodiles because they thrash your tails and they will kick your ass. <laughs> oh, and we're trying to get every every single uh, edible thing in the game to unlock something. It will give us a special rank. And oh no, bees are attacking us for knocking down their hive. Oh wait, just start smoking that cigar and the smoke will make them go away. I love these oh. useless details. That's not how it works. Also, smoking oh. for too long uh, makes your health go down. I'm going to kick the hell out of this fruit. Take that fruit! <laughs> Give me that fruit. Wait, another animal! I have to murder it! No! You must die, frog! Why are you so violent? I have to eat just... everything. Every edible thing I must have in my mouth. And you can shoot more fruit off the trees. But but you can, you can just pick up the fruit. You don't have to punch the fruit. <laughs> well, I could have stabbed it, too. You don't have to kick the mushroom across the map. I could have just, shot just it. Just pick it up. <laughs> just pick it up. Uh. Major. I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. 
The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage. Yeah, we don't care about the tutorial. Just hold down the triangle button and skip that bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, and when we were like going around in the mud in that previous map, it got our pants dirty. Uh, well, since we entered the cutscene, our pants are clean. But normally, uh, you have to wait for your pants to dry out, or you have to switch to a different camouflage, because the mud will actually affect your camouflage rating, which is in the top right. That tells That's you how awesome. it, it tells you how well you're blending into your surroundings. More bug that is juice. So cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, right now we just we don't have any camouflage. We just have olive drab. So go to the start menu, and we'll take a look at some of the camouflage we have at the moment. We also at the bottom we still have our ride in mask, which you always have no matter what. Nice. You always start out with the ride mask, but the numbers on the right just tell you how it'll affect your camouflage rating. Uh, we have to take these guys down naked. <laughs> We'll do that eventually. Naked in the riding We'll mask. have to do Come that. On. We'll do that eventually, yes. There's lots of screwing around to be done. But, um... One critique that some... One problem that some people have with this game... Oh, and here's the normal MGS3 camera. Right here. You can't move it around That like doesn't this. follow? Uh, yeah, you can just uh, move it around to kind of peek around you, but... Eh. Oh, we're going to sneak up on this guy. If you use the D-pad instead of the analog stick, you can... Uh, like stalk them and they won't hear your footsteps. No wait. You can hold them up by putting your gun up behind them. You can make them do a little jig and give you some items. <laughs> Is that part of KGB training? Uh, like, I, if an American points a gun at you, you have to swiggle. It might be. Also, you, you can punch that. Hips. You can punch guys in the balls and knock them out. Take that guy. The more stars are over their head, the longer they'll be knocked out for. Or you can just put them to sleep with a trank gun. It lasts a lot longer. I want to imagine that that's like part of the KGB's image of Americans. Is that we're all a bunch of repressed homosexuals. Yeah. So if they dance properly, we'll, we'll be stunned, yeah. and they can get the better of us. <laughs> yeah, and if you can pick up guys and drag the bodies the bird. around. Eat it. No, I already got that bird once. Oh, okay. We only need one bird. One bird D. Uh, but you can drag those guys around, and when you drop them, they'll drop items. Oh, wait, this is a new mushroom. Kick the hell out of that mushroom. Yes! Mushroom C. You can also do this dive by just, like, holding down the X button for a sec. There is so much junk hidden in trees. And, and logs. Just When those Cub Scouts moved out, they did not police their area yeah. properly. Look what's not. in this log. Thermal goggles. Whatever happened to zero impact. Hmm. Seriously. Here's your backpack. This is where you equip the tons of shit you have. It also tells you the weight for uh, what you've got equipped, and the heavier amount of equipment you've got on you, uh, the faster you'll drain your stamina, which is that second bar b below your uh, huh. health bar. Uh, when your health bar, or when your stamina g bar gets down to like half, snake's stomach will growl, and uh, enemies can hear that, and also your aim will start to shake, among other things. That is really cool. Yeah. And so I want to take these guys down somewhat stylishly, so I'm going to knock this guy out. Now, since this guy wasn't looking at him when the other guy got knocked out, <laughs> when he turns around and sees the guy, he'll have to investigate first. If I shot him while the, that guy was still looking at him, uh, he'd immediately go into caution mode. So we're going to use CQC here, which is a circle button. You can grab them like this, drag them around. If you click down the L3 stick, uh, you can put your knife to their throat and interrogate them. And sometimes they'll tell you useful things. Sometimes not. Like, bugs are really scary? Which category does that go into? I'm not sure. You can also throw them down and hold them up on the ground. Now dance, bitch. Nah, we're just gonna knock him out and drag him by his feet. Oh, right. And this looks really painful. Look at how his head is jiggling around on the ground. That is not very nice. His head should just be snapping off. He's gonna have, like, mud in his teeth for yeah. the rest of the day. Ew. It's gonna, uh... uh... Ugh. Uh, so we've, we've picked up two new items, stun grenades and grenades. They're pretty self-explanatory. One of them stuns, one of them just maims. Just blows shit up. Hell yes. And if you flatten yourself up against the wall and then press L2 or R2, you can <laughs> pop up around the corner and then surprise guys. Happy birthday. More grenades. Look, all these hollow trees have weapons and stuff. 
I, I'm starting to think you don't want to mess around with lumberjacks. New fruit. <laughs> fruit A. Ah, that's my favorite fruit. Oh, it, it's Fonzie fruit. Hell yes. Oh, and yeah, hey. here's the there. Here's the carotin frog that was in this map. There he is. Ribbit. Shoot it. Nah. Make it. Come on. Some of them are really hard to get, and it's really tedious, and I have to reload. Also, I'm gonna show off the radio. Uh, if you talk to paramedic, she'll talk about the foods you've gotten. I see you've captured a giant anaconda. The giant anaconda is believed to be the largest snake in the world in terms of weight and diameter. It's not poisonous, but its large size makes it extremely powerful. They say it even eats crocodiles. Its only natural predator is man. And snake. And snake. Got it. So how does it taste? I knew you were going to ask me that. Glad I didn't disappoint you. So? Well, the guide says it tastes all right. Good. I'll have to try some. Ugh. I'm gonna upload... It tastes like a warm summer breeze. Ah, oh, you can also move snake around with the right stick and zoom in if you click on it. I don't know why that's there, but it is. <laughs> so there's a different conversation for all, like, 48, I think, types of food in this game. Take and... a good look at my bent knee. Ah. Uh... It gets better reception this way. I practiced posing in basic training. <laughs> I was exceptional at posing, so they put me into the special program. His little impish grin was just <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna get him with a beehive! And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna shoot that hard to see beehive from here. Eh, there we go. Eh, eh. Oh no! Bees are attacking Achieve him! Achievement unlocked. Bees, bitch! Hell yes. Oh no, those bees are going after him. <laughs> And, oh no, there's two other guys! Watch out, guys! Oh, they're getting hit by bees! Oh no, there's another guy! Uh-oh, he got <laughs> bead too. Well, that takes care... That takes care of all the guys on this map. They will be... They do come back after, like... This is like Home Alone in the Jungle. I love this. Oh, and if you go down here... Just string up some paint cans. <laughs> oh, see the ropes on the bridge? You can actually cut those, and uh, if you cut enough of them in the right places, guys will fall off the bridge when they're walking over it. Awesome. We'll do it later. We picked up an assault rifle, the XM-16, blah, 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 blah. Back And pack. some drugs. Yep. Pentazamine. It, it steadies your aim. That's the... yeah, yeah. Pentazamine, I mean. Potassium. Mmm. They spelled it the Russian way. <laughs> Yeah, I'll put the cigar. Because I'm in. deep cover all of a sudden. Oh, and if you press R1 near any of this equipment, oh, there's more product placement. Calorie Mate is like a granola bar in Japan or something. <laughs> yeah, but you press R1, you can take a look at your junk. Even the gun has camouflage. Oh yes. Can you switch the camouflage on the gun? Unfortunately, no. Oh, uh, speaking of camouflage, um, one problem some people have with this game is that. They feel like they constantly have to go in the start menu and switch camouflage. Oh, and you can press L1 to aim with sights. Um, the thing is, most of the time, if you just want an all-around good for most situations camo, just use the one I'm wearing, Tiger Stripe. It doesn't give you max, but it works pretty well in most environments. It's pretty, it's pretty good most of the time. You can always just sneak better, too. Yeah, but camouflage always helps. Oh, it seems like... Obsessive camouflage switching is for people who are obsessive anyway. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. 
The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Yep. I'm gonna show off, before we actually do the game here, this really fun map. We're gonna approach in three different ways. First, gonna save, just to see what uh, paramedic talks about. Usually, I'll use these save conversations like the end to a video. Saving a game, Snake? She really, this chick really likes to talk about movies. So if you like hearing about movies from around the 50s and 60s, maybe a little bit earlier, well, then you'll really like these conversations. I'm going to dig this. Saving. Eventually. Yeah. I'm going to dig this eventually. Eventually we're going we're gonna to enjoy the hell out of this. Hey, Snake, you ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? No. What is it? It's a movie. You haven't seen it? Nope. It's about this monster called Godzilla, who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. It's just make-believe. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. Snake, it's a movie, not a report out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity has no way to stop the monster. Dr. Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile, Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version, too. I recommend seeing the original Japanese one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti-nuke message as well. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. Really? That's too bad. Well, if you wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America, too. Why is that? 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies, then? Of course! Everybody loves Godzilla. You sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie-watching type, are you? Not really. Okay, then I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets tough, movies can save your life. It's always good to be able to look at things from a different perspective when you get in a jam. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit, Snake. Have a little fun. So now that we've talked about Godzilla for a while, let's kill some people and save that dude. Well, we're going to do this map in three different ways. We're going to do it the legitimate way, which is the way... Uh, like, when we save the game, this is the way that'll actually count, the, the sneaky way. <laughs> but when I sneak, I make sure not to wait too long and make it boring. So I play maps like these over several times to, like, choreograph a fun way to watch this. Oh, and diving is a pretty... Don't, don't kill the magic. Yeah. Diving is a pretty good way to get close to guys. They don't hear you diving too well? Uh, from a certain distance Ouch, they won't. damn! Yeah, if you're still walking and you press the CQC button, uh, you'll throw them down and instantly knock them out. It's really handy. That, that was hardcore! Yeah, and there, I just picked up a shotgun. Unfortunately, I don't think I use it later on, but we'll, we'll definitely be using the shotgun, believe me. I'm gonna sneak up on this guy. Because it's a sneaking mission. Yes. Yeah, I mentioned that you're supposed to sneak in this mission. No way! By the way, sneaking is recommended on this sneaking mission. <laughs> sneak, sneak, sneaky sneak, mission. Do a sneak. little dance. Mission sneak, sneak sneak, mission, sneaky sneak. Oh, oh yes. Sneaking mission. This guy actually has something useful when you interrogate him. Although you have to interrogate him several times. If you want to learn more, take a look at the survival viewer map. Ooh, show what that does in a second. 
just gonna drag this guy and position him properly for the that next step. That is not step. how wheelbarrow races work. <laughs> you both have to be conscious. I'm winning! <laughs> I think. Are you okay, pal? More stungy. So he just told us to look at the map. He just gave us the location of all of his buddies. Ah. Yeah. Like, threw psychic beams into our backpack. <laughs> oh, remember how we put that snake to sleep? Well, we yes. can equip that snake while he's still in the cage. And, oh, hey, really? I deliberately got a, that guy's attention. Well, we're going to equip this snake. And this guy, he saw me run off in this direction by the tree. But since I put that, that soldier in his direct line of view, he'll go investigate him instead of me. And snake attack! <laughs> oh, he's distracted. Let's get him. Good job, pal. That, that's a very tiny snake box. <laughs> it's like for, a Pokemon. You know, the, and then I can capture him. The largest him and... snake in both weight and <laughs> diameter. Oh, I love the snake attack. Let's just put you with your pal. Uh, I love that KGB snake thing. training also covers clipping. Yep. It teaches you how to be inside your buddy. I love how that soldier wrestles with that snake. It's like it's like in movies how people get caught by nets and they just can't get out, but with a snake. <laughs> oh, and here's a here's a barrel. You can actually push that over and roll it, and then eventually it blows up. Even though it's not Ooh. red. Oh, and we picked up a suppressor for the uh the M sixteen. Yay. Nice. But it will but you can't get in it and roll. No, unfortunately. No. There's no getting inside the barrel and rolling like in Metal Gear Solid 4. But this game's better than Metal Gear Solid 4. And in fact, um... Screw you, Metal Gear Solid 4. Metal Gear Solid 4 is good, though. Multiplayer and junk. And, yeah. Yeah. You know how there's... Oh, snake attack again. Oh, <laughs> get that snake off me. That's how Russians talk. Oh, I would never stop snake attacking. It was... <laughs> it's great. One thing that would be the only thing I do in the whole game. Yeah. The one annoying thing though is like when you recapture that snake, you have to go back into the start menu and re-equip him. But I cut that out just for The box even changes size. There's a snake that then goes into a medium box that it couldn't possibly fit in. And then when you <laughs> equip it, it's a tiny box. It's a tiny, tiny box. It poke well, okay, Pokeballs change in size, like you see it actively happen. It could happen in Melgear Solid Land. You know it really could. Yep. You can tap on walls to get soldiers' attention, the attention of soldiers, but uh, this, hey, this guy's just hey. overwhelmed get by over all here the tripping. Get over here so I can shoot you in the face. Get over, come on, come on. Come on, get over here. Oh, no. I, I, I want to tranquilize you. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. Lots of rolling. Rolling is a manly way of transportation. So it was like, that, that is the worst version of like a Chuck Berry duck walk I've ever seen. <laughs> you aren't nearly low enough on the ground. Yeah. Oh, and there's a new animal in here that we need to get. It's that rat. rat. Come here. Get over here. Okay. Oh, oh. Come, come. He's uh, getting uh, away. Uh, oh, get back it, here, it you rat. It reminds me of the little black robots in the hallway of the Death Star. <laughs> uh, we got a rat. <laughs> oh, and we're right underneath the room where Sokolov is. There's a hatch here, but unfortunately something's covering it, so we can't get in through. You can scare him by hitting the, the floor with your knife, though. I also <laughs> accidentally got that guard's attention that was to the side of this building. That you were trying to get the attention of? Well, well, there's one other guy. When I peeked around the corner a oh. second ago, there's another guy, but I couldn't see him because he was behind a tree. But for some reason, when I hit the wall with the knife, he heard the sound from way on the other side of the map. <laughs> Either that, or he heard that noise and decided to go investigate the other guys, but in a second he's gonna Here, boy. Here, boy. he's gonna come right uh, walk right over the first guy knocked out, but whatever it doesn't really matter oh, and here's a window right into Sokolov's room what happens if we throw the snake into Sokolov's room <laughs> you can also get a game over here if you throw a grenade in there Oh, you can blow up the silly monocled Russian scientist guy. And here's a new bird. Bird. Bird, bird. watching. Major, cool. this so bird is beautiful. Tranquilize that. I have to eat this bird. There's no eating in this video. We're saving the eating for later. 
Oh yeah, and the uh, the little stock walking, the slowest way of walking, that consumes more stamina than just normal walking, because you... There's a... Oh yeah, try it sometime. Yeah. Yeah, you, there's major work going on with your calves. Look at that, it's a magpie. That's a pretty bird. Even though it's a crow. Taste unknown! Taste unknown. Said, said to be edible. Yeah, that uh, taste thing... Well, that goes to the next cutscene, but that cutscene's long, so let's do this map a different way. Slightly aggressive. We're gonna kill some guys. Oh. Originally, I wanted to get, like, alert mode, have flat-out chaos, but, uh, th there's a problem. <laughs> That'd be how I play Metal yeah. Gear. Um, when I, that guy just shot, uh, he's the radio man. In maps like this, there's always one soldier that's got a big backpack full of radio equipment, and he's the one that, like, if there's an alert, uh, or if another guy sees me, uh, they'll run to him to notify HQ, but... Since I killed the radio man, nobody can really radio in and call for more people to come in. So it's just these guys. That's pretty nice. Yeah. And soldiers will even make note of you killing the radio man sometimes. <laughs> and plus, I just want to get into caution and all the other alert modes because it has some really cool music that you otherwise wouldn't hear if this were just a stealth-only run. And plus the, uh... Oh, the stealth doesn't get music. Kojima, I'm disappointed. Uh, we had to hear the animals and the, the footstep sounds and... Metal, metal gear, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I wanted to hold this I guy know. up, but oops, he heard me. <laughs> You're dead. Oh well. And when you have the alert up... Like, if absolutely nobody's around, the alert counter will actually go down faster than, you know, in seconds. And here comes a guy. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. But we just went to evasion, so he decided to retreat, I guess. <laughs> that hardly seems logical. <laughs> no, but, um... Another thing is, like, you know how, like, in uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, like, how the sailing music would change depending on the weather and all that? Mm -hmm. uh, same thing happens here with the evasion, alert, and uh, caution music. It's all one track that fades into each other depending on which mode you're in. So that's slightly aggressive, just shooting guys up. And Now we're going to go to a, a messed up attempt of snake attack that leads into flat out hell breaking loose. Oh no! I have found the source the of the snake! <laughs> Sometimes the snake will actually kill the guard. Very rarely, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, and you can switch the modes in the M16 between single shot, three shot burst, and just oh, ah, ah. Yeah. Ah. Now, now this is how I play Metal Gear. Yep. It doesn't really work in any of the other games. <laughs> <laughs> no, they. Th this game and Metal Gear Solid 4 are very friendly to running and gunning. Yeah, when I played the Twin Snakes, it wasn't pretty. No. Well, that's probably because uh, the GameCube controller. It's hard to run and gun with the controls in that. But whatever. Oh, and see uh, Snake's bleeding on his leg and all that? When he, Ooh. Yeah, uh, that actually affects your camouflage rating as well. <laughs> and uh, you either have to wait for the blood to dry out from your clothes, or uh, you can just switch camouflage. Oh, and when you grab a guy, uh, guards will be hesitant to shoot at you. And if I had, like, a pistol equipped, I could also shoot guys while holding that guy hostage. Nice. Yeah. But they will send other guys to flank you if you're holding a guy hostage, like that guy there that I just shot and killed. Knock, knock! <laughs> Who's there? Oh, and now to show off a really weird glitch that I found completely by accident. But, you know, I was just running around, oh no, aha, I have a master plan. I'm going to roll this barrel into them while they're on the stairs, and it will explode in their faces. And it'll be awesome. But it doesn't explode in their faces, it explodes when it hits that wall. But watch what happens to this guard when I roll over him. He kind of gets stuck, and he just won't <laughs> stop shooting at God. <laughs> I'm better than you, God! But he's just kind of stuck. He won't stop shooting at this guy. 
he's faced his mortality and found the futility of religion. <laughs> oh, and here's a monkey mask. <laughs> you can unlock this ape escape mask uh, through a mini game we will show later on. Uh, the mask is awesome, though. And I had to get this, too, just because it looked pretty funny. Just going shooting everywhere with that mask. Man. <laughs> 